reinventing the California higher education system. I think in reinventing American higher education system. I think there's something that we need to get straight. We, we need to get rid of many of these uh, standardized testing. I mean, we need to have a national exam that qualifies you from high school to go to college. And we ain't playing games with it. If you don't qualify, you don't pick corn, okay? Those that qualify, go on. Those that qualify highest, have it rigorous. You know, you would go to Yale and to Oxford. The others going to go wherever. And some, you know, just say bye, you know? You don't qualify, there's no comeback again. You know, so that folks will work hard towards gaining there. You see, whatever your standard is, people tend to work towards it. And uh, what I understand now, uh, when I was driving the school bus, kids understand that the way you could get into Yale or Harvard, is to have some good recommendations, have some reasonable grades, and uh, show leadership. So they join scouts. You know, it's not that they have the ability and doing these things. They just join these things to fake it like if they have it. And they want to get into high Ivy League to make that big money. And so what I think they need to do is this. We need to start letting people memorize the whole book. They need to know everything. And, you know, those who go into higher education are those that have developed higher levels of cognitive development. In other words, you could go to Yale or Harvard with just the ability to acquire knowledge and understand the knowledge. I think when you get into Yale or Oxford, you need to go beyond that. You need to be able to do the knowledge thing, the understanding, the analysis, the application, the synthesis, the evaluation, uh, and, and, and so on. You know, show that you have some things you want to work on. I know that, of course, uh, people have dropped out from Harvard and Yale and gone and make a big life over there. I hope that could happen. I mean, shouldn't we reward people that, you know, held the faith and, and completed it? Um, as a matter of fact, you can't necessarily show me the celebrities view that making the big bucks out there, the education they have. So if we out here realizing that, man, these people are making a lot of money and they don't have no education, what's the motivation to get an education? Same thing. So we should show a correlation between education and achievement. You see? Um, I mean, as I said, many people who are making billions out there and who dropped out of school stole somebody's idea. We need to sh enforce the law. Forget that, oh, this one seemed to be able to add more value to the concept. That's not the idea. The thing is that, and, and as an innovator and as a, as a concept man, I know that it's God who gives you ideas. And you get ideas proportionate to your intelligence, your abilities, your experience in the whole yard. And just like uh, mergers and covetousness when somebody sees you have a business and want to take it over, whatever means they try with, they get you locked up, put drugs in your car, get you addicted to heroin and whatever, get you deported, whatever. I believe that eventually they will not only lose the, the, what they, they acquired, but even their investment, they lose everything. And, and, and it's worse. And, and that person who is over there, you know, really is the one who uh, has the abilities to take that thing forward and to take it to the next level, to the next level. All right, so uh, we need to show that, um, you know, you go higher education, the more opportunities you have, and, uh, you know, and the whole nine yards. I mean, there's so many celebrities out there that don't even have a high school, uh, a high school diploma, perhaps, or even an associate of arts, see? Um, and, and so I know that everybody that goes to higher education don't necessarily have an idea they want to work on. But they want to learn some stuff. Okay, and go and learn it. Let us do it well. You learn your stuff or you bring your stuff to the market. And um, I, I know that also in higher education, many of these professors, they listen to the various students at various times and they listen and take the ideas and make something and try to get a patent on it. Uh, I think that it should be these professors, anytime they complete something, it should be the community thing because they, they're, they're listening to people's ideas. And it's true that no student ever came and said, you see that pattern that professor has? I was working on that and took it and so forth. Because I've had two professors who um, work with stuff with me and they want to know everything about my idea. And, um, you, you know, it seems to me that they wanted to, if we have a conference, they're going to be the ones that can get the media attention and the interviews and then move on like if they're the star. And if it takes off, then I'm done. I'm gone. I'm locked up or jailed or killed or whatever. So um, higher education needs to reinvent itself in some practical ways. Um, you know, the entrance requirement should be rigorous. And when you go to university, you should be distinguished. You should be a person who is applying what you learn in school. You know, you can't be, say, a, a, a medical uh, student and doing drugs. I mean, what kind of stupidness is that? Or you don't know to eat properly. 
or you're not resting well, or um, you know you're hooking up with the wrong crowd, you're gonna have a whole bunch of tattoos and piercings. I mean, that to me don't seem to be uh, recommending higher education. So we need people that can go to these schools who 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 gonna show that um, they're able to apply the stuff they're learning in their own lives and in the community, uh, be able to create new ideas. Uh, to evaluate stuff and say, you know, this and right, because there's so much political correctness out there and so much uh, people talking dumb stuff that you say, can these students evaluate this thing and show this guy that he's wrong? But no, they let him go through with his errors and then they're going to come with the errors too and they're going to be able to go along with it. So we all play political correct. Let him go through with mine. Here's how I can get mine out. And, and what we do is distorting uh, educational reality.